Alright, what up people? It's your boy Chig from Guna Equal Eye coming to you again with a brand new video. That's right, it's the player ratings for the Leicester versus Arsenal disaster. Um, where Arsenal spectacularly found an even worse performance than the Wolves one, where we lost 3-0 to Leicester. Uh, and we blew it. We blew it. We blew it in spectacular style. We blew it big style. Um, it's not really much else to say outside of that. You know, it kind of is what it is. We we had hopes that they would have learned their lesson from the Wolves' performance. Um, I think, quite honestly, the irony of all of this, that we were supposed to be playing teams who were on the beach, but it feels like particularly our strikers, are on the beach. They're, they're, they're just doing, they're phoning in performances and I'm not really sure why. I'm not, I don't know what's going on. Um, from the facts that Ainsley Maitland-Niles got sent off, which I thought phew, Michael Oliver had a shocker of a game. But, but, Ainsley Maitland-Niles, you've got to be better, bruh. You gotta be. You gotta think to yourself. All right, I'm on a yellow card. Maybe not do tactical fouls. You know, it's not like you were in the worst of troubles as well. I don't know why you felt like you had to get up and then do that. Yeah, that type of thing will come with experience, but man, it's just silly. And then it just leaves us on the back foot with a man down. We don't play well when we've got eleven men. We ain't gonna play well when we've got ten. Um. And then you see everybody, everybody crapping on Alex Iwobi. And don't get me wrong, Alex Iwobi didn't have a great game. Definitely should have done better with the chance that he had. Um, should have done so much better. Oh my gosh, he should have done so much better. And there was a couple of times he gave the ball away. But let me tell you something. I saw more of Alex Iwobi trying than I saw of an anonymous Mkhitaryan. An anonymous Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. An, an almost anonymous Lacazette. Lacazette was a little bit better, but he wasn't that much better than than those guys I've just mentioned. Um, and this is the thing. This is what people get twisted. This is why people say, "Oh, I'm biased." And you know what? I actually don't care. I'm, I'm I've given up trying to defend myself to those type of people. But I'll say it again. For me, I ultimately I don't think Alex Awobi will succeed at this club. He won't. What I hope for Alex Awobi going forward is that he actually just goes abroad or somewhere because I think he will do well abroad, but not at this club. This, this, this fan base has decided that Alex Awobi is not good enough and they will never be prepared to give him an opportunity. So for me, if I'm advising them, kid, just get the hell out of there. Get out of there. Um... As for the rest of these Ninkun poops, uh, none of them are good enough. Um, so let's just get into the player ratings to show you how not good enough they are. The only man out of everybody that can say, you know what, I did a good job, was Burnt Leno, which tells you the story of the game. Um, I thought he was fantastic. He made two brilliant, brilliant world-class saves um, and actually made a number of saves throughout the game, definitely made up for his error, errors at, at the Wolves. Um, we may have something with this guy. I think it's going to take us a couple of years to realise it, but we may just have something with this guy. Um, I hate giving anybody more than seven when we badly lost the game. But in this case, I'm going to make a special exception. Because to be perfectly honest, it should have been a lot more, a lot sooner. So I'm going to give Bert Leno an 8 out of 10. Uh, we started with 4 at the back, so let's mark it as 4 at the back. Let's start off with Ainsley Maitland-Niles. Um, I'm going to give you a 0. And it pains me to do that because I didn't think you were doing that badly up until then. Yes, I thought the first yellow was harsh, but at that point, you have to have sense, man. 
you have to have sense. In a game that we needed to win, you have to have sense. Um, we have a Kalasinac problem on the right-hand side with Ainsley Main and Niles, which I've noticed he can't play in a back four. Just the same way as Kalasinac can't play in a back four. As wing-backs, these two are great. But in a back four, it just doesn't work. And it just highlights our need for an actual right back and an actual left back. While well, Sam will prize open his tight wallet is another question. One, oh, I've had so many arguments with people in various different groups today about Stan Cronkay. And the fact that, mm, yes, we need to be self I'm all for being self-sufficient. I'm all for it. But you have to get us to a certain level before you then go to the self-sustaining model. Otherwise, all you're going to see is stagnation. All you're going to see is us going backwards. And if you doubt me, just watch. If Stan doesn't spend money, just watch. Zero out of ten fancy men and Niles. Let's go with Squadron Mustafi. I'm going to be honest. I didn't think Squadron Mustafi did much wrong today. I, don't get me wrong. He was by no means good. <laughs> but, uh, but I don't think he was particularly at fault for any of the goals. If I'm being real, I actually thought he got better when he moved to right back. Um, like I say, I won't say that's good, but I'll give him a four out of 10. I, trust me, these player ratings ain't going to be much better. So he's he's got one of the highest marks out there. So four out of 10 for Mustafi. <sighs> I'll come back to Kashami because he was a sub, of course. Um, Socrates, I thought was poor today. It's got to be said. I actually thought he played a little bit like Mustafi. He looked lost, got bullied. Um, it's funny, you know, because I think he relishes the battle with the big man. But pace terrifies him. Vardy had him on toast a couple of times. And for someone who doesn't have a pace problem, pace clearly terrifies him. Um, so I'm going to give Socrates a two. And honestly, I, uh, it was a terrible game. Kalasanak, oh, fucking hell. Uh, I'll give him a three out of ten. Three. Only because I saw one run that I actually liked from him. I'll give him a three out of ten. Uh, let's go to the middle. Uh, Granite Xhaka. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I remember people were in an uproar that he didn't play against Palace. Was it Palace? Or Watford? One of the two. And ever since he's come back into the team, it was Palace. Because ever since he's come back into the team, I ain't seen nothing that made me think I, we missed this guy. It was a massive uproar, Palace. That, oh, you, everyone can see what Granite Xhaka adds. Well, we've scored less goals since he's come back into the team. So what are you talking about? And we considered the same amount of goals. <laughs> people. Oh, my gosh. This is what people do. They try and find reasons to stuff. When we've lost, they'll say, oh, it's because X wasn't playing. It's because Y wasn't playing in his correct position. It's because, uh, it's because Z wasn't playing with A. Because A makes Z play better, even though that shouldn't be the case. What? One out of ten. It was terrible. Torreira battled, tried, showed a lot of heart and passion. Didn't think he was good enough. I still am not convinced he's completely fit. I'm going to give him a three, though. Henrik Mkhitaryan, I'm going to give a minus five to. I thought was anonymous the entire game. We, let's be real, we started off with 10 men because he weren't on the pitch. Minus five. I don't give a damn. Alex Awobi, for me, I thought for everything he did wrong, the one thing that was very apparent in the second half is that when he came off, there was no out ball. There was no one driving that defence back. You know, I, I think it's very apparent that our threat completely evaporated once Awobi wasn't on the pitch. And I thought that the substitute was terrible. 
And I, before people start saying, and I know people are going to slaughter me in the comments, and I don't give up. Well, I don't care. I don't care. Right? He did a lot wrong. But it was the incorrect decision to sub a Wobi when Henrik Mkhitaryan is playing anonymously. The subs were terrible today. And for me, I give Alex Awobi a three. <sighs> Let's talk about the strikers. Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. Um, I was all for the idea of uh, Pierre Emerick Aubameyang being sold. And this is the reason. Yeah, 18 goals is all well and good against teams when nothing's on the line or there's no there's no stakes on, on the line really. We're just trying to catch up because we've messed up in a previous game and maybe you've had a couple of good games where you've had a few braces. But when it's really on the line, when we need you and you go anonymous, for me, what's the point? You're now 30 years old or you're about to be 30. Your pace to me is, is diminishing with every single game. I think if we have any kind of decent offer from China, because I think China is really realistically, and he might fancy a payday. Um, I say take it. And it pains me to say that because I like Uber. You know, I, and I always try and back African players. But this is where for me, I never let sentiment cloud the judgment for what is required for that team. And unfortunately, it's not a Bamiyan. One out of ten. Lacazette, I thought, tried more. Tried to drop deep, particularly towards the second half, to try and be the out ball that Awobi previously was. Just weren't working. Um, three out of ten. Let's talk about the substitutes. Kishani was at fault for at least one of the three goals that went in the second half. At least, you, if, you, if you, you can make an argument for all, I would tell you at least one, possibly two. One out of ten. He was, he was, might as well put Mavropanos on and save Kashani for the home tie against Valencia. Um, when Doozy came on, Did what Grand Doozy does, two out of ten. Um, Eddie came on and was, again, for the second game in a row, looked the freshest striker. Um, I guess he hasn't had played that many games, so why wouldn't he look fresh? Um, honestly, you may as well play him for the last two Premier League games because he'll give more effort. So, i give Eddie a three out of ten. As for the manager, um, I thought in terms of the personnel, bar one, and that's Kashani, he played a team that you would expect him to play. My query is why did he change the shape? We've gone, until Wolves, we've gone five at a back away from home all season. And don't get me wrong, it's not like he's been overly successful, but we ain't been conceding three goals all the time. But for some reason, we've gone to four at the back, away from home now, still playing as though we're playing five at the back and we're getting exposed. Um, and it, to me, it would have made more sense today, even though, I don't get me wrong, I wouldn't have done it, but it would have made more sense today if he had gone four at the back, uh, played Lichsteiner and Monreal at left or right back. At least they're a left back and a right back that can play in a four. But to play the four with two guys who clearly are more comfortable at fullback, away from home, against this pace, you need to contain Vardy. That's the one thing you need to do. And I just, for me, you almost presented us on a platter. Um, you're making a lot of errors, Emery, I must admit. And I'm being patient because I understand that you've been left with garbage in terms of players. Uh, but you... 
at some point, we have to hold you accountable as well. And I thought subbing Awobi to me was the biggest error because he was our one outball. Why would you leave Mkhitaryan on? And then you took Lacazette off. Really? Why would you? Why wouldn't you leave Lacazette on? Uber wasn't doing nothing in the game. So, just all that to me. Just let's be real. I want to give you a two out of ten. I don't normally mark the fans, but I give the fans a ten out of ten because you guys power to you. You're traveling away from home to watch this garbage. Better than me. But anyway, guys, you guys let me know what you think. Leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, please crush, please destroy, please drop kick that like button. I appreciate when you guys do that. If you haven't had an opportunity, I think it'll be to my left. There'll be an opportunity to watch the watch along that me and Lee did earlier this afternoon. Um, so do check that out. Let me know if you like it. And then on to Valencia, I guess. Or, well, on to the Emirates for the Valencia again. I'll be doing a preview for that. And hopefully me and Lee will get an opportunity to do a watch along for that as well. But I'll confirm midweek with that one. All right. I'm out of here, people. Take care. Deuces.